Hello everyone, my name is Abdallah and I'm a tenure track researcher at CWI in Amsterdam. This is a teaser video of our CHI 2020 work titled Thermalware, exploring wearable on chest thermal displays to augment voice messages with affect. This is a joint collaboration with my co-authors at TU Delft and the University of Oldenburg. So why study voice emotional prosody? While emotional prosody can be situationally impaired, in example ironic speech or remote communication settings such as avatars or occluded gestures in Zoom meetings. It can also be impaired in certain medical conditions such as autism spectrum disorder. And finally, for intelligent voice assistance, emotional prosody may still not be human-like and requires amplification, for example, to indicate urgency. So there's been quite some work investigating the relationship between emotions, media, and temperature. And what's important to note here is that the common finding is that warm temperatures are generally associated with being pleasant, comfortable, and increasing social proximity, while cold temperatures are not. So in this work, we draw on the bodily map of emotion by Newman et al. and overlay three of Ziegler's wearability body maps. And we find that the upper chest is a suitable thermal stimulation site. In this work, we contribute thermal wear, which is a wearable prototype that thermally stimulates the upper chest, and empirical findings that show that neutral voice messages can be effectively augmented with affect. All our source codes available, so please take a look. This is what our perhaps clunky prototype looks like. But please look at the paper for details on its construction, the real-time temperature readings from the Peltier elements, the thermal perception findings, and comfort of such simulation. In the core study that we've done in this paper, we draw on the EU Emotion Voice database, where we selected eight messages and synthesized neutral counterparts using WaveNet. We ensured that these were indeed perceived to be neutral through an annotation study that showed high intra-class correlations. For this study, we had a two, positive versus negative message valence by three, warm versus cool versus no stimulation design. After experiencing the stimuli and voice messages simultaneously, participants entered their valence and arousal ratings through a 9-point self-assessment mannequin scale on an Android app. Since our data was not normally distributed, we applied Friedman rank sum tests and post hoffman whitney tests with Bonferroni correction for pairwise comparisons where applicable. But what do these results mean? First, thermal stimulation influences valence of a neutrally spoken voice message. But this, however, varies across cool and warm stimuli. Second, while warm stimuli increase the valence of positive messages, this is not so for negative ones. Cool stimuli, on the other hand, lower the valence of both positive and negative messages. While our results support Salmina et al.'s classic study that showed that warm and cool stimuli can increase arousal over neutral, our findings, however, differ from Tewal et al.'s work on thermally stimulating Facebook posts, where they don't find an effect of thermal stimulation on valence ratings. Thank you very much, and please refer to the paper or the longer CHI 2020 paper video for details. And please feel free to drop me an email or Twitter me for further questions.